Thank you for tuning into the reading produced by Black Spectrum Network. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell button to get the latest updates on this channel. You can purchase a private psychic reading by going to www.blackspectrumnetwork.com. If you want spiritual guidance to learn how to work with your ancestors, or if you're interested in deepening your spiritual experiences, then subscribe to our Patreon. You can get these and other other videos at least one week ahead of their YouTube release date. That's patreon.com forward slash Black Spectrum Network. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get into this reading about Nicki Minaj. Okay, so... Um, <clears throat> Uh, her boyfriend's name is Kenneth Petty. Um, and I may have that wrong, uh, because I didn't do my research on his name, but I'm remembering Kenneth Petty. Okay, Kenneth Petty. Kenneth Petty. Okay, Kenneth Petty. What's going on in their relationship at this time? Okay, so the first thing that I see here in the cards is that um, there's some disappointment that they're both experiencing in their relationship right now. But it's in regards to uh, Nicki Minaj deciding to um, take more time away from the relationship to focus on her music career. I also get that um, I get from this card as well that she gives um, her uh, her her boyfriend money. Um, so he depends on her uh, for financial assistance. I am also saying here that Nicki Minaj um, is. Uh, I do get that she's prepared, like she's preparing to she's still working on her music because she's like, I need more money to come in. I'm not I feel like she's trying to generate uh, more interest in uh, a tour uh, for herself and. Um, she's telling him that, you know, in the long run, this is going to benefit the both of us. So even though she is the she's his financial sponsor, I get that he is very much in love with her and he does love her uh, genuinely. Um, and I get that she loves him as well. Um, I'm saying here that in this relationship, Nicki Minaj is definitely the dominant energy. Um, and she has to learn how not to be so cold hearted all the time. I get that sometimes she can, she can be, as she would put it spoiled, but the cars are saying that, you know, she can be an asshole towards him. Um, and the, what's also interesting from these cars is that he's he clings on to her and she can shoo him away and want she wants her space a lot but she does those things to see how far he's going to chase her and it is she pushes him away to see how hard he's going to fight for her and to, uh and how hard he'll fight to be around her i'm also saying here i'm also saying here that uh, Nicki Minaj knows uh, sh she knows that she's going to marry him. Let's put it that way. She's decided that in her head that this is her king. This is the man that I need to be with. This is the man that's going to protect me. This is the man that's going to provide for me. And he's the man of my he's a man that I've always wanted to be with. And we've known each other for a long time. I don't know if she's known him for a long time, but she said she would say that she's known him for a long time. Now, in the past, I see that may I see that Nicki Minaj has mainly been focusing on trying to, uh, to balance her money. Um, and I do see that she is happy with the financial empire that she's been able to build for herself. Yet at the same time, she's been without love. Now she's saying to herself, I'm going to have the family. I'm going to have the house. I'm going to have the home. I'm going to have the kids. I'm going to have the American dream. I'm going to have, I, I'm going to be that bitch. I'm going to have it all. Um, and it is that I see this may be a vain aspiration for some people, but Nicki Minaj is a man is a very powerful manifester. So she feels that she can make anything work. And when she's done with something, she's done. But this 
relationship she's she says that she's putting in such a serious investment that she wants to be married i'm also saying here in the cards that what's going to get them through is that they are uh they're, they do work well together as a team. There's a lot of cooperation between the two of them. Um, I see that um, Nicki Minaj is definitely more needy than he is, um, but she's she's emotionally needy, and he is needy in terms of money, and he's needy in terms of uh, in terms of a uh, in terms of attention. I get that he's a capable person. Um, that he could perhaps run his own business if he wanted to, but um, for the most part, he th- they both their relationship is characterized by them both trying to act like infants with each other and 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 being really cute, um, with one another. Um, in their house of friends and family, people feel like they're both cut from the same cloth. Like the people that are close to them are are looking at this situation like we're riding with you because this is your dude and um if you like him we like him and we feel like he's a good match for you the areas that you're weak he's strong and the areas that you're strong you're weak and it's it's blind loyalty um Nicki Minaj is fearing that the public is going to judge her when the when they find out that she has um that there's a baby on the way um, because I was about to say that anyway, because when this I saw this car pop out as an outcome, I was like, God damn. Um, but yeah, I see that. Yeah, she she's there's a baby on the way. And um, she's she's afraid that people are going to judge her for it. Um, and. She doesn't know how to how to deal with it. Uh, she because she's like you know people don't understand what it's like to. You know, she's like you know I found my soulmate. Um, I've been single for a while. I have, um, I have been trying to you know please my fans and 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 um, now it's time to just please myself. I've I've wanted to be with this guy for a while and I've avoided the feelings and I just feel like it's destiny just has has it to be that way and maybe my destiny has it she she wants she hopes that her destiny includes being financially successful relevant still having her fan base and having this this gentleman on the side um so that's what i see going on in their relationship right now so i want to see how will how are people going to respond how are people going to respond to um Nicki minaj being pregnant Let's see. Um, again, another card of for pregnancy. Um, and it's it's like she's already it's like she's already planned a media campaign around this pregnancy she's like you know my seeds are already planted she's like you know i can i've already paid the right people to sway public opinion so when things do come out like i I made good with the folks i've made good with and i'm expecting um, a positive response from people for the most part she right now Nicki minaj is trying to target a younger audience to become her fan base and so She's like, you know, these kids will still support me. They'll still love me. Um, my fans will still love me. And and the people that are that I'm that she's like, there's going to be a lot of scrutiny, but it's not going to affect my music. She's like, it's not going to affect my pockets. It's not going to affect my music sales. I'm still going to I'm still going to um, I'm still going to dominate. That's what she's telling herself. But I see that people are going to be dragging her ass. Okay. All right. So um, let's see. Are they married right now? They're engaged. They're 
they're on their way to being married. If he does, he just doesn't need to cheat on her. That's all he. If, as long as he doesn't cheat on her, the the path to him getting married to her is clear. Um, they're engaged, and they're in. They're engaged. She plans on being married. He's already he's proposed to her already, and um, they may be trying to sign a deal to get that broadcast. Um, should that should things go over well, that's what she's planning on. Um, she's she's really planning on trying to um garner as much attention as she can around her pregnancy because she's like uh people love people are gonna love me for being a mother you know what i'm saying um it, it is a lot of strategy behind it but at, it's like Nicki minaj can't she can't give to her music and ignore her personal life at the same time she has to make decisions that will benefit her personal life and her romantic life so if she chooses to be with kenneth petty then she has to make decisions and she ends up pregnant. She has to make sure that she reframes her pregnancy in a way that can still help her. Uh, that can help her financially benefit from peop from being blah, from people knowing that she's pregnant. Okay. All right. Anyway, so is there an, is there more music coming for her in 2019? Now, if Nicki Minaj does not, if in nine in nine months, Nicki Minaj doesn't have a baby. That doesn't mean she wasn't pregnant. Anyway, so more music. Okay, it looks like okay, from what I'm seeing here, it looks like she's just going to be releasing um a couple of singles throughout the year. And I don't really see them doing well uh financially. Um I see them I see them charting high but I don't see them um I don't know if they're going to be certified uh and I see it being difficult for it to get radio I see it being difficult for her to get radio play I feel more so like younger people are going to purchase the music but not continue replaying her music and she's and she needs to release a body of music another body of music and she's not ready to do that yet. So I see more singles coming out. Um, I feel like, I feel that she's strategizing to release an album when the baby drops. So it's like the album drops, the baby drops and you know, I'm at the top of the charts. That's how I see her trying to do this. Let me see. Um, is she trying to release an album when she has this baby? Yeah. When she has this baby, she will be trying to release an album. Um, and it's, it, and the music videos and all that would already have been pre-recorded and so on and so forth. Um, she's got them. They're, they're like, she's got the money to do it. I get that mainly Nicki Minaj is really, really worried that she may not get married. She's like, I just don't want this dude to fuck up. You cannot fuck up. You cannot do this. Like, this is my destiny. I'm about to have it all. Like, I'm about to have my kid. I'm about to have my man. Like, I love you. Like, just don't mess up. And I see that she's, let me see. Why is she so worried? Why is Nicki Minaj so worried about being cheated on? Cause it's gonna tell, just cause we're gonna need to find out. Does he cheat on her? Because it would, it would be, it would all be for naught. She, she feels like her career has taken. She's like, you know, I, I, I got knocked down a peg by being in a relationship with you, and. And I'm I'm gonna take that L. People are still fucking with me. But I can't sit here and lie that, you know, that things ain't ain't different. And at the same time, um I'm saying here that Nicki Minaj is just like 
this guy has been single for a while. Um, and he has a wandering eye. He's been, he's had a wandering eye in the past and in his his pe- previous relationships he's definitely cheated on these women. Um and he got defensive with them about it. But with Nicki Minaj, his, Nicki Minaj, he knows it's homie don't play that. So and she's like in the past in the past she's telling him, you know, the women that you were with were submissive. I'm I'm a, I'm I am the table. I'm a monster. I'm a lion. You know, I'm not a lioness. I am a lion. Um, and she's telling him at any time you can go, I'd rather you leave than just to cheat on me. Um, so there's a, there's some PTSD there that she's experiencing. She wants him to, she wants him to listen to her and understand that he needs to pledge his loyalty to her in order, and, 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 and in order, and he needs to marry her. He needs to be serious with her and they need to be on one accord. There's nothing that uh, she's like, you know, two heads. One, she's like two heads, one body. You know, uh, I I do me, you do you. But we're we are a, we are a unit. We are a team. And um, yeah, there there's some paranoia there because even though this guy makes her happy um, and she's not as happy as she portrays herself to be like let me say that this guy does make her happy but it's like regular relationship happy this shit ain't no goddamn aladdin and jasmine riding on a magic carpet happy okay bitch like chill out nikki but um no they're um no she she's she's just basically saying like they're a team and she has but she's trying not to put up a front she is in love um she is in love and she, this is the most in love that she's been in. But as far as the quality of their relationship, is they got regular ass, like, a regular ass romance. Um, okay? So, I want to see, um, basically, how does Nicki Minaj feel about being blackballed? Because they said, um, I mean, I remember when Trina... Trina ain't never got a BET award. And if you go and look at her Wikipedia page, it, she ain't never got a BET award, bro. And so I remember she was like, fuck BET. Um, <laughs> one time it was a tweet. She put, fuck BET. Um, but yeah, uh, how does Nicki Minaj feel about being blackballed? She don't give a fuck. It's like, she's like, she cares, but then she cares because... She she only she she doesn't care because she's in a relationship, but and she's like you know I am in this relationship. There is a part of this that I do have to accept where you know there are some legitimate people have legitimate criticisms, but beyond that, she feels like she's like man fuck these people. I'm still going to I'm still I I've all she said herself I've always been the underdog. I've always been the underdog, and I'm always going to win. She. And she feels like she can, um, she feels like she can pioneer a new era of music by helping to bring in new women artists. And as long as she continues to, as long as she can bring in these new women artists, she's going to be fine. She's like, I'm going, I'm still going to be good. I'm, I'm still going to be good. You can't black, you, you're not going to be able to blackball me because she's going to get. What she's planning to do is she's trying to get, she's trying to help other women in the industry and those other women are going to become likable and they're going to start supporting Nikki and then they're going to say hey we've been blackballed y'all got to stop blackballing her so she's she's like I'm the underdog you think that you're about to push me out I'm not out I'm not out um and she's like fuck y'all y'all ain't y'all ain't gonna mess with my money either um my she's like my money's good and I see her doing a lot of international work. Um, so I see, um, I definitely see that she's going to, as of now, she's a lot more successful overseas than she is um, domestically. I mean, I feel like, uh, you know, I feel like when you, when she looks at her, um, her in, her monthly income report, she sees that, okay, I made this much from the, uh, from, from, 
uh, U.S. based businesses and I made this much from, you know, digital sales and I made this much from any type of ventures overseas. And she makes a lot of money overseas. OK, um, what does what does she think of Megan Thee Stallion? She feels like Megan Thee Stallion is destined for greatness. She feels like she that's that's just it. She's like I feel like she's she, I feel like she's hot. I feel like she's talented. I feel like she's got the it factor. She knows what she's doing. She's young. Um She's telling her she she was just Nicki Minaj is kind of snarky. It's like she just needs to make sure she don't fuck the wrong person and she'll be good. Like that's what she would say. She doesn't really have much she doesn't want to pay much attention to Megan the Stallion because she then has to acknowledge that she's like, you know, I don't want to acknowledge like she she's like she's got a long way to go before I should really, really acknowledge her like that. Like I don't want to give her I don't want to give her too much shine. I don't want to give her too much credit, but you know, from what the little that I've allowed myself to see, she's good. And Nikki feels like Megan has stolen her look in a way. She's like, you know, there are some of these things she's done that definitely look like me. And, you know, but at the same time, I think that what she has going on is unique. Um, And she just does not want she she's like i'm not really checking for megan but you know megan should be you know megan i know megan's checking for me because i'm the queen of the game i'm not checking for megan like that and that's the most that i think like you know i, I wish her the best okay so what does Nicki minaj think about cardi b possibly going to jail what does Nicki minaj think about cardi b possibly going to jail Okay, what's interesting is that Nikki's like, oh, she's like, this girl is so fucking stupid. Um, she's like, she's so fucking stupid. She's like, she doesn't. The thing is, is that Nicki Minaj really doesn't. She doesn't want Cardi B to go to jail because Nick. And, and the thing is, is that this is that shoe throwing incident here. Um. And and she's like, Nicki Minaj is saying to herself, look, we done been there, done that. Like, girl, like, I almost sent you to jail before. Why would you? You are so fucking stupid. Like, I don't know. I don't want to see you go to jail. Like, you're a young, you know, you're a young lady. You just now in the game. Like, no, that's not, that's not cute. That's not what we do. Um, but at the same time, Nicki is hoping Nikki's hoping that Cardi doesn't go to jail because she doesn't want to see like she doesn't want a free Cardi B. She doesn't want people to be on a free Cardi B trend. She feels like people are going to be more likely to support Cardi B. Want if Cardi B goes to jail, she may end up garnering an even larger fan base because people just want to support her out of sympathy and. And it may and and the other thing is that Cardi B, if she does go to, she's thinking like if Cardi B does end up going to jail, she may only go for like three months, and I mean that's just going to only help to accelerate her career. So it's like it, she doesn't want Cardi B to go to jail solely because Cardi B is going to find some way to benefit from the publicity around it, and Nicki Nicki Minaj knows this. Nicki Minaj, but if she had to talk about it publicly. She would say, you know, she almost could have sent her to jail for, you know, when we was at that fashion event and she threw that Charlotte Roots shoe at me. And I was like, bitch, I ain't from pay less. I pay less. And so, um, I don't know. I just feel like Nicki Minaj would be shady. She was from these cars. It's like, she would show, she would be, she would say, I'm concerned. No, I don't want her to go to jail. I had the opportunity to send her to jail. She, let me see. How does she feel?
Overall, Nicki Minaj is like, I don't really don't feel too much about it because I got a man. I got a dude at home. It really ain't that big of a deal to me um, because she's never really been somebody that I really even care for. Like, I mean, you haven't really amassed any. Like, she's like, you don't really have anything. Um, that's hey, that's how she feels. Okay, so um, let's just see where is a where's her relationship headed. Where is this relationship headed with Kenneth? Um. Uh, as of. As of right now, Nicki Minaj, I just see Nicki Minaj trying to put in as much work as possible um, towards recording music, creating music videos, and thinking about how to generate attention for a tour next year. I feel like, and here's Nicki. I just see her. I see her at the end of this year, pregnant, um, looking good, and uh, you know, definitely just. I see. I see her just mainly focusing on trying to make sure that uh, the bag is secure for next year. She's like, you know, I've, I prob- I'm probably gonna have to take this L for uh, for 2019, but 2020 is gonna be a lot better because uh, she didn't plan. Well, she, it's almost like she planned for 2018. She planned for 2018 to have um, to bring her much more financial, uh, much more commercial success. Let's put it that way. She wanted much more commercial success, and 2019, and because that uh, the album that she released last year didn't do as well as she wanted it to. Um, Her 2019 didn't look the way she, the way that it, she wanted it to either. So she's like, you know, I'm going to take this L for 2019, but this move I'm making, she's like, the moves I'm making right now are really going to set me up for next year, especially because I'm going to have this baby. Okay, so that being said, thank you for tuning into the reading produced by Black Spectrum Network. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell button to get the latest updates on this channel. You can purchase a private psychic reading by going to www.blackspectrumnetwork.com. If you want spiritual guidance to learn how to work with your ancestors or you're interested in deepening your spiritual experiences, subscribe to our Patreon. You can get these and other videos at least one week ahead of their YouTube release date. That's patreon.com forward slash Black Spectrum Network. Before I go, I leave you with these words of wisdom from the rapper Dreezy. Gave mercy to these hoes. What would Jesus do? I'm your reader, Nexo, and remember, the truth is always collaborative. So fuel my fire, take me high, I'll be your liar too. Cause when we're here, there's nothing better than the sky.